Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids with a video covering what's on my Inspiron 14Z. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I unboxed the Dell Inspiron 14Z Ultrabook. Then a week later, I gave you an update about how the Windows 8 install went. And you can see links to both of those videos in the video description. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you what's actually installed on the 14Z and a look around the Windows 8 Metro user interface. Now I know a lot of people have done these videos already, but this is just my initial impressions and I wanna show you sort of how this all looks with this nice sort of swishy fluid sort of tile interface. And it really does remind me of when I was reviewing those Windows 7.5 and Windows 7 mobile phones. Now we've got this familiar tile interface. We can drag these tiles around as we wish as well. And we can tap on them to launch the various applications. So here I've gone into Internet Explorer and I can tap on here. It shows me my frequently visited sites and also gives me some other sites that I can actually visit as well that I've pinned to this sort of start bar. Or of course I can type in a website address here. But let's just click on one of the pinned uh, sites. And this is Hot UK Deals. I use this site a lot. Well worth checking out this site. And as a whole, Internet Explorer is really nice. It's uh, got some bits that I found hard to find where they were, but after I found out how to do things, it just seems really, really fluid and a nice, speedy internet browser. I can tap my Windows key to go back to the Start menu, and I'm back to this familiar tiled interface. And as I said, I can drag these around and position them wherever I want, and I can also resize them, I think, as well. If I... Um, actually click on right click on one it comes up with this so i can unpin it uninstall the app make it smaller or even look at all apps by clicking down in this bottom right hand corner so let's just make this one smaller and it shrinks it down to a small tab and gives me more room to maybe make this one smaller as well and i can organize my user interface accordingly make everything really personalized how i want it to be also I had a look in the store the store isn't fully populated yet and that's because we're still in uh, the preview uh, version of Windows 8, but it does work very well. I like the way it's set out. It's very well organized. We've got like a spotlight feature here. We can scroll across and look at the main sort of games that are available, social apps, one of which I'll show you in a short while. And we can keep scrolling across and look at the various categories. So it all works really fluidly, very easy to install apps. Definitely a big, big improvement on the way you would normally install apps on a Windows-based computer. And then we've got the likes of SkyDrive. Now, SkyDrive is like your storage in the cloud. Now, I'm used to using the uh, iCloud service from Apple. This is Microsoft's version. They call it SkyDrive. We've got documents. I've only got one in here at the moment, but you could have photos in here as well and videos, music, etc all stored in the cloud and some applications such as microsoft word do integrate very nicely with skydrive you can see here when i created this document when i hover over it it gives me the creation date and time etc and i'll show you microsoft word working in a short while so skydrive is really nice been enjoying that a lot actually and we've got some other apps that i've installed metro twit twitter client gives you live updated tiles here and you can see direct messages, uh, timeline. We've also got mentions and just a really nice interface. Then if we go back, we can have a look perhaps at the eBay app. Again, nicely presented with familiar interface, pulling across the Metro type feel using all of these sort of bold colored squares. And then we've got the likes of Evernote, which I use for making notes. You can see here this synchronizes across all of my devices now so I can access these notes on my MacBook Air, on my Mac Pro, my iPad and now on the Inspiron 14Z and I can click on these. These are for example some questions that I had for my Q&A sessions on the Daily Tech TV channel and this, these were actually input on my Mac Pro and now I can access them on the Inspiron 14Z as well. How cool is that? And then moving across if I just scroll across here, we've got some more apps that I actually downloaded. And this is the trial or the preview version of Microsoft's Office 2013. Now, this was a pain in the butt 
to install. It really was difficult to install. It kept failing. Eventually, I got it installed and it seems pretty nice. Let's just launch that application, which is the Word element of the Office Suite. And this all integrates beautifully with the cloud and allows you to type in documents and store them in the cloud as well. It takes a long, long time to start up though and I'm finding it isn't very stable at the moment. It is a good application once it gets up and running, but look at this. This is not working for me on video. So let's pause this video, get the application running, and I'll be right back with you. So here we go, we've got Word 2013 preview running now. Now the reason it took a while to actually start up is because it's actually streaming the required contents over the internet to give you access to your SkyDrive, uh, documents and also to give you access to online content as well. So it does take a little bit of time to actually start up. It also signs into your live account. So that's why it's a little bit slow at the moment. It does rely on an internet connection. So here we've got some sort of templates that we can start off with, or we can start off with a blank document, or we can open up documents that are sc stored in our sort of SkyDrive cloud storage space. Before I do that, let me just scroll down and show you a few more of these templates. There are loads to choose from. We've got brochures, postcards, calendars, student reports, uh, really a good, good selection of different documents that we can start off with. But for now, I'm just going to open up something that's on the SkyDrive. So now this is looking at my SkyDrive document and it's not really done what I was expecting or is it? Yes, it is. It says it's downloading down here. We've got a spinny wheel and again, quite slow at getting that document, but it is there. So now this is pulling the little test that I did actually down from the cloud. So I can maybe make some extra notes on this uh, whilst we're recording. Something nice and simple. And then we can click save. You can see a little synchronization symbol up here. So we're gonna click on that, and hopefully that has now saved that to the cloud. So let's close this down. So we're gonna close that interface down, go back to here, and then we're gonna go into our SkyDrive, and we can see our documents folder here. And then when we hover over this, we can see that it was updated. It still hasn't updated the date here. It says last modified the 30th of July. So a little bit slow. Let's just try clicking that and see if it opens it any quicker. And we have got a virus uh, warning. Very, very strange. Let's click. Yes, we want to open it anyway. And it starts up the Word 2013 preview again, connects to SkyDrive and pulls down the document with the changes. So it just hadn't updated the date. So a little bit flaky with some of these sort of preview applications, but that's only to be expected um, after all, it is a preview. Let's just have one last look at that. And it has now updated the date on there with uh, the, the sort of last changes that I made. And I've got the whole suite here to preview. I'm not gonna show you all of these in this video. We've got the whole suite of Office applications. We've got Google Chrome also installed, but this isn't a Metro app. So when you launch it, it actually goes back over to the sort of desktop environment which is not as I would want it. But there is a Google Chrome Metro app actually out. I just haven't installed it. It's apparently a little bit difficult to install. Now I've got some bookmarks here which take me straight to that sort of Internet Explorer interface. So that's as far as I've got with Windows 8 at the moment. I'm looking for more apps to install so that I can really test out how this all integrates. And I'm really looking forward to getting in another Windows Phone, maybe when Windows Phone 8 is launched and just see how that integrates with my experience on the desktop, sort of translating that or transferring that over to a mobile device as well. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Windows 8? I'm quite liking it at the moment. I just wish that my multi-touch trackpad was of more use, but that will come when the actual full release comes out, I hope. But for now, I'm really pleased with how things are working. The Mail, which I'm not going to show you because there's private emails in there, works really well. Everything works really well, actually. I'm quite surprised at how I'm sort of enjoying using this new interface. So thanks very much for watching. Leave me some comments. Please do give me a thumbs up and like this video. 
and I will see you all in the next one.